traders welcome back to another video so on today's video i am gonna be talking about how to position yourself in the right entries whenever you're trading the falcon strategy so stick around up until the end so that you can get to understand everything and trades and take trades like this one that i am showing you on the intro guys so without further ado let's get into today's session make sure that you click the like button and subscribe since we are close to reaching our 4k milestone guys so we are on the charts right now and these are the diagrams that i have for you uh, today guys so that you can get to understand so as you can see here we have the daily chart analysis and then what we are looking for we are looking for the overall market structure whenever we are analyzing on the daily are we selling or are we looking for those buying opportunities or are we buying guys now so as you can see the market was pushing down here we had a downtrend the market was pushing down so this was just an area of value or a poi that the market needed to break before pushing to the downside so what you're looking for is this my psychology activation here or the hook point but knowing that the overall structure is to the downside so whenever the market is doing those lower lows and lower highs on the higher time frame you're just looking for the market to purge uh, this poi like this for example at the bottom here just like this and then after paging the area here the poi then you expect the market to give you some type of a continuation pattern like this one here let's say you get an ascending channel like this then you know that on the lower time frame you're going to look for cells around this point of which it's the top of the structure so let me just remove these ones here so that we can get to the four hour so on the four hour let's say you got like your uh, area of value the market pierced that area of value like this one here then you have an ascending so most of the time you don't focus on this area here most of the time people do the mistake of not focusing on the overall patterns guys try to pattern separate everything you can see that this is a pattern within pattern but like most of the time people will just draw uh, the overall line from there to there of which it will be a long line and then you will not understand the overall market structure just because you're focusing on previous structures and if you're focusing on previous structures that is when you're not going to do the right things just because we want to see that first touch second touch and then the third touch that is when you're going to sell on the lower time frame let's say you get like a nice sell around this point then your stop loss is just above this area here and then i'm going to make an example on the live chat so that you can see uh, using nasdaq just because i analyzed nasdaq i think last week so that you can see how it went guys now so if you can see let's say you get like this type of formation you are in the right areas just because we have a liquidity sweep here or a mass psychology activation right here then we have your one two three formation or the multi-touch confirmation then on the lower time frame you look for that engulfing candlestick or the reversal pattern here so that you can look for those nice selling opportunities guys so let me just remove these so we get to the last last diagram so that you can understand guys so on the last diagram let's say the market was pushing up very nicely around this point we had the market pushing up and as you heard me i was talking about like the uh first tight flag most of the time so i'll show you something that you all don't see in the markets guys now so let's say we created this ascending channel like this it's not nice but like it's okay and then we pushed it down you were not involved in the risk entry of which is this one here you were waiting for the tight flag so now what happens is that i've analyzed the markets and then i've seen there is a pattern that is going on whereby even if you take your first tight flag like this sometimes it may work sometimes it won't so let's say you get like your your, your three percent from here and then you move your stop loss to break even then you get tagged out just because the market is trying to look for this area of value here or this volume that has been accumulated around this point here then that is when the market will come and tag out that um area of value or the volume that was here and then that is when it will push down and then create those tight flags just to uh, take you out guys so let's look at the live chat so that you can see what i'm talking about so we're going to use nasdaq we're going to start from the four, from the daily the four hour and then the 15 minute so guys welcome to the chats and as you can see here we are on the daily time frame on nasdaq and then the first thing that i talked about was to have this area of value being pierced through by the markets so as you can see from this point to that point we have that uh, pierce the market pushed to the upside around this area here around this area here 
and now we are looking at taking selling opportunities up until here this was the idea that i had for nasdaq on the previous video that i posted if you haven't watched it use the link in the comment section or in the description below guys so as you can see here we are done with the daily time frame just because we already know that we have uh this page of this area of value the market pushed up and then also the momentum is very important guys you can see that we had large green candles that were pushing up but like when we reached this poi here this area of value that is when the market started squeezing up creating those smaller candles guys of which it shows that the momentum is lacking and then we are going to sell soon enough guys man. so let's look at the four hour time frame so before we do that we can also put like a line here is because we already know this is our overall target when it comes to nasdaq and then like i said previously this is an ascending channel and this is a pattern on its own and then you separate it with this one here just because we had an impulse down this should be the larger corrective move to initially sell off guys now so let's look at the lower time frame so on the four hour we look for patterns like i said now so on the four hour time frame same thing patterns guys now so let me just do this remove that on the four hour we look for patterns guys make sure that you check out all the links in the description below the broker that i use and then you can also join my free group guys for setups I share setups nice setups and sometimes i share signals and the vip for signals is 500 of which is 32 dollars the lifetime and for mentorship it's a hundred dollars of which it's lifetime it's 1.8 guys event all, all of them are lifetime so as you can see here we had an ascending channel and now we are going to separate this one here the reason being is that the market pushed up gave us a pattern within a pattern around here sold off and after selling off you already know impulse correction then we expect another impulse to the downside so let me just remove these here and make sure that i'm catering for the current market structure guys and if you don't understand guys make sure that you drop your question in the comments below and then i'll make sure that i respond to you as quick as possible so that you can get to um, make bank in the markets so as you can see here this was the structure that we had and we are done with the four hour time frame like i said so on the one hour this is where we are going to look for entries like i said now. so as you can see here we had this area of value around here this is an area of which the market had accumulated like a lot of others and we expect the market to purge this area and then sell off but like what i was expecting last week guys was that we can expect the market to do this type of formation if you remember quite nicely so this was the pattern that we had i don't know if i'm doing it correctly just because it was a week ago guys but like i'll try and make sure that everything looks uh, a bit nice so as you can see here we had this type of pattern and what i was thinking was that we can just push to the upside create the third touch before we sell off just like this and the thing that i missed here the thing that i missed it was very important that is why i made this video so that you don't make any mistakes whereby you miss like good setups we should have rained out this trend line to here and removed this one just because it's no longer in use and we took this one here just to place it correctly just like this and this is the area that we are going to use and what you can obviously see is that we patched the area of value of which it's this one here and after doing that we also had the first touch second touch and then the third touch and then on the third touch what you can obviously see is that we created that uh, evening star guys we had the green candle followed by a small red candle followed by a big red candle engulfing each and everything that went on here so this was the setup that we were looking for this was the uh, entry alert guys for us to take those nice selling opportunities from here and then our stop loss should have been just above this area here just because this is an area of value after all guys this is an area of value the market can just push to the upside create the double top before selling off and then we are done with the setup now we look for those nice selling opportunities just like this and let me show you what happened guys now
So as you can see, the market pushed to the downside very nicely, guys. And what I want to show you also is that there were like entries that you could have taken along this trade idea, guys. There were a lot of setups just because we also had some type of a double top formation. Like I said, if we fail to create like the third touch, like my idea, my first idea, we could have had like this double top formation right here, guys. Let me just do this. This double top formation. You take the evening star again around this point here around at this point here just because it seemed like we had an evening star or an engulfing candlestick here so this is an engulfing candlestick so we place the entry here even though it's small but like it's fine and then your stop loss is just above like this area here then you are done guys so this was a nice session with you guys i hope you got to understand a thing of two, a or two uh using the falcon strategy and then if you didn't understand make sure that you contact me on whatsapp and then if you want to join the free group or the vip group the links are in the description below guys i'll see you on another one peace